The number of shops and other retail sites that closed across the UK hit a five-year high last year. New figures from the Centre for Retail Research shows over 17,000 sites closed down in 2022. Two-thirds were part of a retail chain. Uh, Well, let's head to Hull, should we? One of my favourite little cities, actually. A beautiful place. Anna Riley is there for us today. I know that high street very well, Anna. And it does... When shops start to shut in a place like Hull, I mean, it impacts the whole community, doesn't it? Good afternoon, Stephen. Yes, it certainly does. I'm here on White Frigate now, and it was once a real bustling part of Old Town in the Hull Hull City Centre. But it's not half the shops here, like the one behind me, are empty. And there's a a survey by Property Inspect actually found that Hull has the highest rate of empty shops in the UK. In their survey, they found that Hull has 26 empty shops per 100,000 people compared to the national average of six so a real disparity there with the rest of the UK and those figures are pretty stark aren't they that we've heard from the centre of retail research 17,145 shops across England closing in 2022 that's 47 shops per day and that obviously has an impact on people's jobs as well that same research body found that 151,000 retail jobs were lost in the UK last year Year, up 45,000 from the year before. Now, I've been out on White Frigate speaking to shoppers about the closure of stores, and this is what they had to say. My wife has a cafe on the, in the arcade just around the corner, and she's been there for 30 years. And the rents have tripled, quadrupled, and they get no help with anybody, they get no help with parking or anything else. Well, it's gone downhill big style, hasn't it, in the last couple of years, since it's uh, COVID, isn't it, really? I pref- I'm actually old-fashioned. I prefer to go to the shop and actually see a product and buy it, whereas my son, he'll do it online. I work in the boys at the bottom and don't know how long we'll stay open for because there's not many left. And how, is, how have you seen trade change? As a it has dropped. It did pick up again at... December but then what's it going to be like in January I mean I've just walked through and there's lots of clothes not just white forget all over the town so it's like wow it's dying it's just a pity that these these shops are closed down you know I mean this street used to be even absolutely even yeah. you know you used to be like this going down the street and uh, it's a shame how it's gone yeah. but I blame, blame all these big guests uh, supermarkets you know like that for um, all this closing down so a mixture of opinions there but people feeling quite upset about the closure and the changing face of the high street not once what it used to be people saying as well that they feel that the closure of those big department stores has tied into their shopping habits as well. We've seen House of Fraser and Debenhams closing across the UK and also on this street in White Frigate a couple of years ago the Marks and Spencers closed down and it's now a job centre so they felt that the pull of those big brand stores not being here has made them want to go elsewhere shopping in bigger cities like Leeds with more choice or even going to Meadow Hall in Sheffield for that all-rounded shopping experience under one roof and the traders as well saying that it's the increase in rents that are affecting them combined with the cost of living with their energy bills going up in their shops if they're not getting the footfall they're saying they're struggling to continue so let's see what 2023 will bring for the high street